Yes, all four nations were involved last weekend and Warren Gatlin would have been poring over the tapes to look at some of the exceptional performances that were shown across all four games. Um, to start, uh, start off with, it was England who I felt dominated South Africa. Very wet conditions, but there was still some accuracy in their bat play and it was tremendous to see the England backs attack with ball in hand. Um, littered with mistakes at times, so Eddie Jones wasn't... Uh, he was a bit concerned with that performance, um, but something to build on for England. And for me, the halfbacks were really outstanding for England, and ultimately the forward effort in the pack was uh, quite outstanding as well. For Wales, the scoreline of 24 20 tells its own story because that was a committed performance after a poor performance in the opening game against Australia. Uh, tremendous play as well, and because experienced forwards came into the, uh, into the reckoning. And so Rob Howley will be pleased that his team have responded and got a win over Argentina. As I said, a much improved performance. And then heartache for the Scots. Um, everybody knows and sees the improvement under Vern Cotter as coach. And it was a very committed performance. Hugh Jones caught the eye in, in midfield. But again, up front, the Grey brothers were outstanding. And it was great to see Scotland with a committed performance. But ultimately failing to close out a game. So they'll want to focus on that as they go forward. But a few of the Scots maybe have put their hands up in Warren Gatlin's eyes for selection. And then finally, Ireland. They had many new caps, eight new caps, uh, and they blooded them uh, against Canada. It was a wholehearted performance, a little bit too many mistakes uh, I felt within the game. But ultimately, what it did for Irish rugby was to expose a number of players into the international setup.